Hey y'all, it's your mama bear, and it's time for a trickster tale. Now I know some of you are wondering, seems as this is the first one, what is a trickster? Well, a trickster, the way I approach it, is someone who trolls the trolls. You know, think Gabriel from Supernatural, in the first couple episodes that we met him in. He was notorious for turning someone's own foolishness on himself, and he was referred to as a trickster. So I'm creating this and running. And this has become one of my favorite pastimes on Twitter. Because that, for many, is just an absolute cesspool. And in many ways it is. But I see that stuff is gold. This stuff, doing the, the trickster, the trickster role is better than any brain game I could come up with because it keeps my mind fresh and sharp because I'm not going against a computer I'm going against a live human being and the responses are always unpredictable it's beautiful I love it and I know that there are a fair amount of people who actually follow me because I do this and I can get savage sometimes when I do this. And a good amount of the times I wind up getting blocked, and that is beautiful. I like it. So, it was announced that Hannah John Cameron, the beautiful and talented actress who played, um, I believe it was Ghost, in Ant-Man and the Wasp and was Dutch on Killjoys. And if you have not seen that series, go back and watch it. Fantastic show. And then you'll understand why I'm actually excited to see her in this this particular role. Well, she was cast in the lead role of the upcoming feature Red Sonja, the reboot. And being completely honest from somebody who has seen Red Sonja, anything's an improvement, okay? They, they really don't have a huge step to, to you know, to make to, to improve on this factor. And picking a talented actress as she is, already, already we're doing good. There were, of course, as always, whenever a redhead is involved, there were a lot of people upset about the color of her hair. Just saying. And one comment stood out to me, and this is the stuff that I, I live for. One person turned around and said to me, after pointing out that they could dye her hair. After all, as a Hyrcanian, someone from the same world as Conan, spends all of her time out in the sun fighting, she's naturally going to be much more on the, the tanned side. You know, people just want to be upset nowadays. And the one turned around and said to me, after I pointed out that the actress's hair could be dyed, they, this one said to me, and I'm assuming it's a woman, and my apologies if it's not, is, that's the same as blackface. Mm. Thank you. I don't get handed this kind of gold very often. This is beautiful. I ran with it. Quote, treated the whole nine yards. Largely so those that enjoy watching this can watch it. And we did our little back and forth dance and this, again I'm going to say woman, was very adamant that if the hair color is not the natural one, not what you were born with. 
it is the same as blackface. If it is not the way you were born, it is blackface. I am, again, according to this woman. By that logic, self-tanners, any hair color. I could go on and on. And to be fair, I did kind of. I don't get this kind of gold again. Just beautiful, beautiful. So we did the back and forth. I even asked her if she was upset about uh, Zoe Saldana and Karen Gilliam being cast as Gamora Nebula. They are not the same skin color, nor the same hair color. In fact, the one is not naturally bald. Maybe they should have cast somebody who has alopecia. Or, you know, so they didn't have to shave her head. Because, you know, there are actors and actresses out there. And yet one of my favorites was the one who played um, Victor's ass. Absolute delight of a, of a soul. Talented actor. And that was the Gotham TV show, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, and of course she, she gave back, came back with a laughing emoji and said, well, of course not, they're alien. Red Sonia's Hyrcanian. She's not from Earth. There, there's one argument set aside. And so I said, okay. You do, you are aware that this actress is, because again, she went on and on about how it's not natural. It's not natural. Would you be upset if it was somebody who was, you know, going the other direction? A character that was black going to white. And I said, you are aware. Her mother was a Norwegian model. Suddenly dyeing the woman's hair was beautiful. Okay, I may have also pointed out that there are certain actresses in Hollywood, like Beyonce, who do not sport the, the hair color they were born with. Just saying, Queen Bee, she is not a natural blonde. I'm sorry if this is a shock to everybody. But yes, it, it, I, I found it very funny how fast this person changed their tune as soon as she found out the actress was half white. She was biracial instead of just all black. Or however. <laughs> Suddenly it's okay. And... There is a large part of me that still wants to continue the argument. Because if it's not okay for an actress to dye her hair to fit the character of the role, it should be not okay across the board. Doesn't matter if they if they're white, if they're biracial, if they're black, if they're Asian. It doesn't matter. It should, if it's not okay. One, it shouldn't be okay at all. But it suddenly was okay. And I believe there is a term for that, but mm, it it escapes me. You know what I'm saying. But that does it does lead into a point that admittedly has been getting under my skin a lot lately is that there's a lot of people that seem to be bent on being angry just for the sake of being angry and I've been calling this outrage culture you see people you know get, getting upset about movies that haven't even come, in, come up yet in fact in one case 
Uh, they're upset about a movie that script hasn't been on hasn't been written yet. And I will get into this one in another video. But I really need to know that I'm not the only one that's tired of this. I gotta believe I'm the I, that I'm not the only one that just still just wants to go and enjoy it. To not look for the woke in everything. That you know it doesn't have to be either a blockbuster or it's trash. Some a lot of movies can just simply be good or enjoyable. 90% of the time, I don't care if it's a life-changing movie. I want something that's going to take me out of the day-to-day. -day. And I just want to sit back and enjoy, a especially in the case of comic movies, a character that I have loved for years, for decades. And if there's a flub in the movie, a lot of the time I'm willing to look over it. Because I'm not looking for a blockbuster. I'm just looking to be entertained. It's also why I don't do re movie reviews. But uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. And of course, like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because this is just the beginning of my trickster tales. Love y'all.